Hello friends, welcome to Surgical Utopia. Do you know what is oroantral communication and fistula? Well if you don't, I am here to tell you. First oroantral communication. It is unnatural communication between the oral cavity and maxillary sinus. And secondly the oroantral fistula, which is an epitheliased, pathological unnatural communication between the oral cavity and maxillary sinus. So the difference between the oroantral communication and fistula is the epithelial lining which is present in the fistula. Now let's know the causes of these communication. The first one is extraction of tooth. Destruction of floor of the sinus by preopical lesion. Injudious use of instruments. Trauma to face. Chronic infection of maxillary sinus for example, osteomyelitis. And last but not least, the malignant conditions may be responsible for such perforations in the maxillary sinus. To understand the symptoms of the oroantral communication, we have 5e and 5p. For early symptoms 5e should be remembered. Escape of fluid from mouth to nose. Epistaxis. Escape of air from mouth into nose. Enhanced column of air which causes change in the voice. Excruciating pain. Then in later stages the symptoms shift to 5p which is as follows. Pain will be reduced as fistula is established and there is free escape of fluids. Persistent, purulent nasal discharge. Post-nasal drip. Possible sickly of systemic toxemic conditions such as fever, malaise, anorexia. Popping out of an antral polyp. So this was about the definition, causes, and clinical presentation of the oroantral communication and fistula. Hope you liked, and have understood well. Wait for more videos to release on Surgical Utopia. Bye bye till then.